Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to this game's tutorial. Today, we fixed a little bit of displaying uh, in terms of the order and in terms of um, actually fading those pop-up menu that we had before. So as you can tell now, as soon as we boot the game, this shows in full alpha and uh, we, can, we, we can then go back to the actual real menu. We also removed the swap save button, we just got rid of it. And now the reset save is a two-step two verification, so you don't just... <laughs> accidentally click on the button and lose all your save data. You now have to accidentally click on two buttons, which is going to reduce the odds a little bit. So guys, uh, without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so quick episode this morning. What we are going to do today is get uh, rid of this button down here, the swap save button, since it's not really something we need anymore. We don't really swap save. We always use them both at the very same time. Now, the next one, um, well, I mean, the next thing we'll do is also add a, some kind of confirmation button to reset save. Right now, we just click on it and we just wipe everything, which is a little bit, <laughs> it's a little bit rough for the person that just misclicks on the button. So let's head over to the menu scene. And in here, the first thing we'll do is we'll go down there inside of the button array, not array, sorry, the transform, and we'll just hit delete. Good. So we got rid of one. Now we need to resize this a little bit. Um, how big is a single button? So it used to be 137.5. Let's actually bump that down to 412. Okay, so now what we'd like to do is actually add an, um, the confirmation thing, but to do that, we need a confirmation menu. So what I felt like doing is not complicate things too much and just right click in here, create a new panel, and let's make sure it takes the whole screen. The reason I want to do this is so it blocks the input behind it. So whenever we're in the confirm, we can't actually start a game. Now, this is going to be the reset save confirmation. And inside of that, we will add, say, another panel for the window. That we can make a little bit smaller, so I'll anchor it in the center and make it, say, 300 by 300, or maybe 400 by 300. I will make the alpha of this uh, full, so it looks like that. And now inside of it, uh, we can go ahead and just put buttons. So, new UI, button, anchor it at the very bottom left, put everything on zero, and width of, say, 175, the height is going to be 50, then give it a small margin. Alright, might be a little bit too small, let's put the height on 75. Okay, so that would be the accept or reset save. And let's match the text inside of it. Or you know what, let's just call this confirm. And now I'll duplicate that button, put it on the right side. So anchor on the other side and we'll keep the same margin so 10 10 and this will be a cancel button so let's just type in cancel um what i felt like doing is actually have two way to cancel so you either click on this or you click outside of the screen and uh they'll be linked to the same function so good times now we also need some kind of function up here just to let the user know what's going on I'll center the text and I'll just actually make sure they stretch on the um, vertical axis, I mean horizontal axis. And just put everything on zero. Now I can actually use this, put the height on say 200. And here is what we're going to say. So we're going to say something like, are you sure you want to reset your progress? Of course, we need to make this a little bit bigger maybe this maybe this is a little bit too big but um you get the idea so we want we want something to be telling the player what's going on and this does the job perfectly fine all right 
so I'll just call this um, reset dex. Right, now we need to plug this to some buttons. So we have a menu manager up here and that is what we're going to be using to actually do those functions. So I'll head over inside of my menu manager. Let's find a nice place where we can um, call these guys. So at the very end, why not? At the very end, we'll do a public void show reset menu. Actually, you know what? Let's not do that. Let's just do a reset save. And we'll just modify the reset save button up here. So now the reset save is going to be calling this. And the reset save button, whenever we click on that button, it's, sim it's simply going to take the menu and toggle it on or off. That we can do by having a reference to that menu. So let me just go at the very top. We'll do a public game object reset save menu. Take this, put it at the very end here. And we'll do reset save menu dot set active. And we're going to set it active to reset save menu dot active self but not active self, so this way. It's a simple toggle on or off. Now in the menu manager up here, we can take the uh, reset save confirmation and drag it inside of that field. And the next thing we need to do is actually plug those buttons somewhere. So you see the confirm button, we're gonna take that confirm button and actually link it to the whole reset save function. So down there, go inside of menu manager, reset save. This is the reset save function, not the actual button. So we put it here. And now as for the cancel, we're gonna put the cancel on the reset save button because this is a toggle on or off. And here we go. Now the other thing I'd like to do is go under the window, that's actually not a window, the reset save confirmation menu, that's the big guy in the back here. We are going to add a button to that and add a listener to it. The listener is going to be listening for clicks, of course. And we're going to plug in the reset save button function to it. So if we click outside, it, it actually acts as if we click on cancel. Let's give this a try really quickly. Are you sure you want to reset your progress? Then you go like, click here, it does nope. You click back on this, it pops it back up. Cancel, and you just have a good time like that. Now if we click on this, it does the whole uh, reset save thing. Now the only problem we got with that is the menu not hiding afterward. So whenever we do that reset save, we are gonna say, reset save menu dot set active, false. And let's also make sure it is set on false whenever the game starts. So I'm going to take this and copy it inside of the start function. And now to give it a try, we're going to go up here, um, click, oops. <coughs> and now to give it a try, we're going to go up here, click on play. Then I hit reset save. Are you sure you want to do reset? Nope click here, nope, and then I do accept. And it did the whole uh, saving function, that is why we get this error. Alright, so that seems to work fine. Um, there's only one thing that really bothers me all the time, and I think that's because, I don't know if you guys can tell, we get this cloud error message, but it doesn't show up with full alpha, and it's because it's under the UI roots, um, how do you say that? It's under the UI roots canvas group. I don't know if you guys remember, that's what we animate. <laughs> we did that really early in the episode, in the uh, on the series, but we pretty much animate this thing for the alpha to go on or off. And since the pop-up are actually beneath that, then we don't really see them properly. And for some reason, we don't even see the cancel right now. Why is that? Okay, so it's there, it's just a bug. Um, but what I'd like to do is actually create another canvas really quickly that is not going to be under the UI root, but that should not cause any problem. I don't think so, at least. Well, it is going to cause a problem in case of the pop-up manager. Hmm. Okay. 
So here is what I'm going to do. I'm going to create the UI route, but I'm going to change the canvas group to something else. Let's actually add another canvas beneath that and call it fade animation or something of the sort. And put everything that needs to be faded beneath that. So the splash, the start button, pretty much anything needs to go under that except the reset save configuration. Now the fade animation, this is going to be tagged as UI root and this one is not going to be tagged anymore. And let's see if I actually broke everything. I hope I didn't, but might have happened. So I'm clicking here and um, the touch to start is above our panel so that's definitely something that is not going to work out. Let's fix that. Fade animation needs to be on top and fade animation also needs a canvas group. So let's add a canvas group to this guy. And um, now I'm thinking about it. Is it because? Oh, okay. It's because the UI root is actually set here. My bad. So, um, so the UI root you see over here is going to be the fade animation now. If we hit play, hopefully we don't get the same problem. And we do. So let me just check out why. So we have this thing here, and I'm going to expand my UI route to see where it goes and it seems to go under the fade animation thing okay sorry about that that's just me being confused it does make sense we do need to have the UI route tagged as UI root and the fade animation doesn't need to be tagged now um, it's been a long time since I've played with that code it's been like what 50 episodes so it should be good now as you can tell as soon as we load we have the cloud error and that's fine that's the pop-up we want to see now we click and it just boots the actual game. And nothing should be stacking on top of the text or whatever, so this seems to work fine. And as you can tell, even though the menu in the back faded, we'll still have this. So that's very good. Same thing goes for this, this. Nice, everything seems to be working fine and we managed to fix this. So we removed the swap save button, which was quite easy. And we also added a two-step verification for the reset save. And guys, that's where I'm going to end today's episode. It's a really easy one, a really <laughs> fast one. But it's little fix like that that are going to make our game look good in the end. So guys, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you liked. I hope you enjoy. If you did, please give me a like. Really appreciate that. If you have any comment or question, please leave them in the comment section below. You can also support the Patreon if you wish. That would be great. And other than that, I will see you guys in the next episode.